All right, welcome back to part two. Unfortunately, my GoPro lost the uh, the video I'm putting the grease seals in, so we'll just talk through it. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to get the grease seals. Uh, we'll get them lined up in, in the bore of the bearing carrier, and then we'll use a big socket just like the one that I'm using here. And then you just take a hammer and you lightly tap it in just like you tapped them out. You know, the whole bearing came out and you tapped it. Same exact concept. You just, you just tap them in with that socket and you drive them all the way down until they bottom out in, at the bottom of the bearing carrier. Now that we got our grease seals pressed in, we are ready to start putting the bearing in. Uh, again, make sure this is perfectly clean. There's nothing down here. We want this thing to slide in. If there's any gook in there and it gets pushed in, it, it won't let the bearing go all the way in. So I like to put a little, a little bit of lube on this. That way, hopefully, it slides right in. So I'm going to use this socket to drive that bearing down in there. This thing fits perfectly. Uh, it's a, I don't know what size socket it is. It is super, super thick walled. So, you know, try to find something that fits in there nice and smooth and has a good lip on it. That way, it's sitting right on the race of the bearing when you try to, when you try to drive it in. Okay, now that we got the bearing unpackaged, it's important that we're gonna we're gonna pack this bearing with some grease. That way, on startup, this thing's ready to go. Otherwise, you, you run the risk of uh, of ruining your brand new bearing. We want to get we want to get grease down here in all the races between all the ball bearings. So, again, we're just gonna we're just gonna work it in there. Careful, this thing doesn't fall apart on you. I just use some red and tacky. It works good. Talking to the guys at Mongo, uh, that's what they recommended. When you get these wearings lined up, it's important to go in smooth and even. Now get it started even. Like I said, I just use that socket and start slow. All right, now we gotta get the snap ring in there. I would recommend uh, a bigger set of snap ring pliers because these are a little difficult. You just gotta get it started and just work it. Work it down, you'll know it, it'll click into the groove. Like I said, I'd get some bigger snap ring pliers if I had to do this over. There it is, it's snapped in. You can see it, it's all the way around in the groove. Essentially this side, it's gonna be the exact same as the other side with the exception of the smaller, uh, the smaller clip and the grease seal on the outside because it doesn't get either one of them. You wanna make sure this is super clean, that there's no debris on it, old chunky grease. We wanna make sure it slides right in there. Yeah, I didn't figure this side was gonna slide right in simply because when I took it apart, it didn't come right out. So I got a socket, we'll do it just like when we drove the, the bearing into the bearing carrier with the bearing housing here. We'll do the same exact thing with this. We'll just knock it in nice and softly until it bottoms all the way in. So I have a socket that fits the inner race perfectly. And again, just like the, the outer race, we're gonna tap this in. This is gonna be a little more challenging simply because we're doing it on the side. You could flip this up on end but I'm not going to. Just walk it in. Make sure it's going in nice and nice and evenly. There it goes. It's walking. You don't have to hit it hard. Just some nice taps. You can see it's walking itself all the way in. If you find yourself having the whale on this thing, you should stop and figure out what the problem is because you should not be whaling on this thing. Just tap it in. Just walk it in. Okay, before we put this thing back together, again, we want to make sure everything's super clean. We don't want any, any dirt in here. We want to make sure this is good, that there's no big nicks or dings out of it. We're going to slide this right on. And
That one just slides right in. Pretty straightforward. Then we'll get the smaller uh, C-clip. We're gonna put it right in there. You can tell it's, we got good grease in there from packing that bearing. As I spin it, you can see it kind of rolling out. That's kind of what we're looking for. Now that the bearing carrier's in, we got to put the last C-clip in. And this is gonna be one you want to expand it. So you'll need the ones, you know, the uh, snap ring pliers that expand it. This one's much smaller than the other ones. I suspect it'll go in a whole lot easier. Chris. There we go, they're in. Time to put the last grease seal in. You want it so the numbers are facing out to you. You want it so the springs are facing in. And essentially what, what that does is this oil goes in, just like a hydraulic uh, cylinder, the pressure will, of the grease will push on these and it will seal it. These should go in pretty, pretty straightforward and easy. You can just tap these in if you can't push it by hand. Again, like the bearings, you kind of want these things to go in halfway straight. Of course, this one is not. But you'll get it to go. And just work it. A lot of times, you can just push these in. I used a a dead blow, that way we don't screw up the, uh, the seal with a, with a steel-faced hammer. And that's it. All right, unfortunately my GoPro battery died while I was putting this thing together. Basically what I did is I took these jacks and got them underneath and I just walked them up a little bit each time on each side. That way it didn't go up cattywonkered and get jammed up in there. Uh, I got it all the way up. The other side I got up. I just put a couple bolts in it to hold it. I got this side the rest of the way up. I stuck this in there to hold it. And now we will go ahead and we'll put the six bolts in. We'll put the guards back on. We'll put the pulley back on. We'll adjust the V-belts. And hopefully this thing will be back up and run. Okay, now that it's jacked up, we have it pinned in. We're gonna go ahead and put the six bolts back in on each side. You're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket and a 19 millimeter open end wrench to get these put in. Again, the bolt comes in from the back side and then the nut or the washer and the nut on. now that we got the bearing carriers bolted in the next step will be to put the pulley on use some brake cleaner make sure you clean up the shaft real good you don't want any problems uh, any gunk on there you want to make sure that the key sits in there without any problems now that the shaft is all cleaned up slide the pulley on and then slide the bushing on and make sure that you line up the machined groove with the bushing with the obviously with the key on the inside give it a little wiggle it should it should slide right on in there all right, now that you got it put in, take your uh, your square from earlier and you want to set the depth. You want to make sure you get this right. Otherwise, the pulleys, uh, the top and the upper and lower pulleys won't be aligned. And then you may have some problems with the V-belt. So once you get it on there and you get it measured out, you put your two set screws in. And you're going to have to work this a little bit. You know, keep checking it because as you tighten those set screws up, it's going to pull the inner bushing a little bit. So you got to just, like I said, you just got to play with it a little bit. and make sure you get it right. These things don't have to be gorilla tight, you know, just get them in there and give them a good a good nudge, but they don't have to be crazy tight, so. All right, now that the now that the pulley's on, we're going to put the V-belts on. Just like we took them off, just roll them, just roll them on and roll them all the way to the back and make sure you get all three of them on. From there, once they're all on, we'll tighten them up. Uh it is exactly the opposite of what we did taking them off. Just get that set screw on the top of the uh hydraulic motor housing start turning it and you'll see the motor housing and that top pulley start going up uh, just keep a check on them make sure that you get the tension correct what you what you're looking for is uh you want about a half inch of play quarter inch to a half inch of slack when you pull on the pulleys we got everything tightened we got both sides of the motor housing 
tightened and now we just have to come back and run this jam nut all the way up again that's going to be a 22 millimeter and it goes all the way up all the way up and then we'll take the wrench and we'll see if we can't get a little turn out of it all right that's it now that we have everything buttoned back up before we clean up before we go any farther let's put these zerk fittings in and let's put grease in this thing i realize we packed these bearings before we put grease in the housings but let's get this thing greased before we put this thing back together and we're in a rush and we forget to grease them all right that's good and tight now remember these things are going to take a lot of grease all that whole entire area that was inside that bearing housing has to get filled with grease so uh, it's going to take more than a couple pumps, so I would say put your Zerks in and get right to pumping. That way you don't forget. Let's get the other side put in and greased up as well. All right, now that we got everything lubed up, everything's tight, let's give this thing a shot and see what happens. Obviously, make sure it's clear around you. This thing will suck up just about any path. Uh, also, just double check all of the nuts and bolts before you start it up and start and start uh, rotating it. You just you just don't want any problems. This thing comes apart. It'll end up. It'll hurt somebody or kill somebody. So, so it seems to be working good. No crazy noises coming out of it. Uh, no vibration. So I think we got it at this point. We'll just put all the guards back on, just like we took them off, and uh, we'll take it out and get back to work. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up if you like what you saw.